Aviram's asked us a question about how do you do one of those perfect pushes that you see those top Chinese players do and it looks like you're stabbing it with a sword. Basically what you're trying to do there, Aviram, is you're trying to generate good backspin on the return. That helps to keep the ball low and it also makes it more difficult for your opponent to attack the ball. How are you going to generate that backspin? There's a couple of keys. The first one is providing a good angle on your racket. If you have your racket flat and push forward on the ball, you're not going to generate any spin. So by angling your racket backwards, now you're going to be able to brush underneath the ball to generate the backspin. Aviram, one of the keys here is to be able to generate good backspin and keeping the ball short and low so that it's difficult for your opponent to make an attacking stroke. So how do you do that? The first thing is that you need to tilt your racket back so that you're able to brush underneath the ball to generate that backspin. If you have your racket flat, then it's harder to generate backspin on that ball. The second thing is to taking the ball as early as you can off the bounce. If you think about it, if I let the ball bounce and then hit the ball when it's all the way back here, it's much more difficult to drop the ball close to the net. If I hit the ball from close to the net, it's easier to drop the ball close to the net on my opponent's side. So the first two keys are generating backspin by tilting your racket back, and the second one is getting the ball as early as you can off the bounce to get the ball short. By keeping that ball low, it's harder for them to attack. As soon as you get that ball a little bit higher over the net, they're gonna come in and make the flick. So keep that ball low, try and generate as much backspin as you can, and see if you can get the ball close to the net on the other side. Remember our sword-like action, but I want you to think about generating good sharp contact on it, but you still need to be nice and relaxed. Don't aggressively punch at it because you're going to tighten up your hand and the racket and the ball's going to fly. So you need to be really nice and loose and relaxed and then stab. If you're curious about table tennis and have a question burning in your mind, go to pingskills.com and the Ask the Coach section. We answer every question that's asked.